All right, against all oddies. Where have all the oddie testers gone? We've got Amalia Lampierre from Royal College of Surgeons, England. Hi, I'm Amalia. I'm the Conservation Manager at the Royal College of Surgeons of England. Um, I'm here to talk to you today about our experience with oddie testing for our new Hunter Museum. Okay. Due to the redevelopment of the Royal College of Surgeons building, um, which houses the Hunterian Museum, the museum was closed for six years. Um, during this time, the museum was completely redesigned um, with the change to its location within the building and the objects that would be displayed within it. Um, for the conservation team, this brought about uh, new challenges for us of ensuring that materials not used in our galleries or tested previously were safe for our objects. This amounted to a large number of paints, inks, and other case internals uh, that needed to be tested. We therefore needed to carry out body testing. So at this same time, uh, the conservation team was involved uh, with the planning and organization for a large collections move uh, back into our new building. Uh, the collections team also didn't have a working lab at this time. Um, we were not in any position to um, or had any time to carry out oddie testing ourselves. Um, we wanted to outsource this work and we were actually allowed a budget to do it. Um, we there, um, so at this time, unfortunately, COVID hit the world as well. And um, we, like many of our museum colleagues were furloughed. We were um, just not able to find anybody to do any oddie testing for us. Um, we then fell back on the British Museum's ODI testing database, but we found that that was taken offline as well. Um, we were stumped and we were being given a lot of pressure from contractors and um, our higher up project managers to deliver the results. Um, <clears throat> a shining beacon of hope came with one of our project managers um, finding a conservation company that offered um, a testing service. However, this wasn't an ODI testing um, service. It was using uh, EDS uh, electron microscopy to determine changes to test tokens at microscopic level. Um, we booked a test of 20 paint samples initially and awaited the results. Uh, upon receive receiving these results, we had trouble quantifying the data. Um, having been used to ODI testing and uh, how those results related to our objects, we struggled here. Um, there didn't seem to be any sort of quantifiable data to, um, to compare against, um, and all of the samples came back as failing. So we took the test again, and we did longer drying times, um, but unfortunately we still didn't come back with any usable results. Um, it was at this time that we uh, really had to think what we were going to do. Um, that process took quite a long time. So while that was happening, we actually completed our collections move and we moved into our new building and um, we uh, managed to have a shiny new lab and we bought ourselves an oven. Um, we, um, we knew that this really was the last time that we were going to be able to get the results we needed to be able to ensure the safety of our objects. Um, we took full advantage of this now and did uh, our complete due diligence, um, tested everything possible that could go into a showcase, um, definitely more than just paints. In total, we tested 145 samples ranging from paints to anodized aluminium. Um, so now that the project is over, we have come back with lots of questions about what next. Um, we have an oven, we have the knowledge of body testing and how to use it. Um, like most organisations, the RCS is driving us to come up with new revenue streams. Um, is this uh, such revenue stream? Um, these are the questions that we need to answer. Um, are other institutions interested in having ODI testing carried out? Is there a need for it? it is it something that anybody is looking for? Um, but also, do we have the capacity to carry it out? Um, 
do we even want to suggest this as an option to our directors? Um, there's the responsibility of errors in testing. Um, so here's where we look to you. If you would have a minute to complete our survey, um, just to help give us some answers, that would be great. Thank you very much.